John from Crappie Hunters here. We're going to be doing a tabletop review on the Crappie Max Filet Knife from Bass Pro Shops. The dimensions of this knife are a 5.5 inch stainless 420 steel blade. It is a full tang, full 5.25 inches molded handle. I got it on sale from Bass Pro Shops for about $3. Uh, let's see here, our, our ease of use is the handle it fits really well into the hand I do like how it has the little grip on the back the factory edge it was pretty nice it does do very pretty well up a, as a, against a paper test and I did run it through some cardboard it, it cut cardboard and paper pretty good uh, unfortunately I have not been able to field test this knife yet paper and cardboard test as you can see here the factory blade I it's not like I said the best in the world and it's definitely not you know, not flaying the paper very well but you know I, it's done it a couple of times <clears throat> of course here we have the cardboard test you know like I said it does have a little bit of difficulty getting into the cardboard but I, I will put a better edge on this and we will have some field testing done in the very near future one of the things I do also like about it, it does have a really bright red. You can see it really well in the water when it's floating. Um, it is a floating handle knife. That is something else that I do like it. The fact, like I said, the factory sharpness was pretty good. I, mean, I wouldn't say it's best in the world. It is a fillet knife, so it does flex pretty well. <coughs> Let's see, some of the things I do like about the scabbard here are that it does have the locking edge on the or the the lock here that does allow the knife to not really fall out per se if you'd be carrying on your belt I'm not really a big fan of this belt clip though I would like to see it molded all the way into the handle as opposed to if you can see it here where it just kinda snaps in uh, I'm not really a big fan of that um, I do like that it does cover the blade all the way. Now I have found on some of the other knives that I've bought over the, the last couple of years, um, the tip of the blade does stick out. Now I'm not very big fan of that. It it will cut your finger. It'll cut you on the leg, stab you, poke you, whatever. Let's see. As as far as the 420 steel. You know, it, it was a $3 knife. You do have to kind of keep that in mind. I'm not quite sure how it's going to hold up. Um, I will end up sharpening it as far as when I do a field test. You know, the likability of this knife, I, I would put it at about a 5 right now on a scale of, of 1 to 10, of course. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Um, I can only rate it a 5 at this point in time because I have not gone out and field tested it. I have not cut any crappie or, or any catfish. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't even been able to go fishing yet this year. That's going to change soon. Um, so, of course, go check us out on Facebook. Our website is www.crappiehunters.webs.com Like, subscribe. Uh, tell me in the comments if there's anything specific you want me to look at or, or field test. I'd really like to hear from you guys. Thank you very much. And be a simple